Good evening, Cottonwood families. I am Mrs. Santola, and I am here tonight to read your Cottonwood Friday Night Read Aloud. And tonight I'm reading a really special and important book to me, and I wanted to share that with you guys. It is called Jack and the Zombie Attack, and it's written by Chris and Amy Hernandez. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to read a page, and then I'm going to show you guys the pictures. I will read the dedication part too. This book is dedicated to our boys, Noah, Joel, and Jack, who underwent the ultimate sacrifice to make our dreams a reality. Also to all our friends in Mrs. Thompson's kindergarten class and all of the students and staff at Mesquite Trails Elementary. Always remember the fun you had on the playground with Mr. Chris. Never grow up, Chris and Amy. The picture's there. All right. Jack played in the sandbox filled with his toys pulled apart and mangled like all little boys. When his mommy shouted, it's time for a treat, Jack thought to himself, I don't want food to eat. And there's Jack. As little Jack stammered into his house, he knew that his tummy craved something else. Brains, 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 brains! Mommy, I don't want a sandwich with bread. I want to eat just like the undead. Jack, such a horrible thing to say. But Mommy, Jack cried, a zombie I'll stay. You watch too many movies. Zombies aren't fun. Be careful what you wish for. You may become one. What do you know of fun? You wait and see. When I walk the street, people will run from me. That night, as Jack lay resting in his bed, a carnage of zombies aroused in his head. Awakened by a shriek, a shrill, and a cry, Sounds like a parade of dead passing by. He heard a moan outside of his room, so he ran to the window armed with a broom. As he looked outside, confused and dismayed, there waited an army of zombies decayed. As scared as he was, his excitement grew. His zombie dream had finally come true. Did you come to get me? Because I thought this through. I want to ravage and play just like you. The zombies all moaned and walked towards Jack. He climbed out his, his window, yelled, Mom, I'll be back. Gallivanting in the streets, Jack began to walk, moaning with zombie friends in a huge flock. And then a fun picture. <laughs> Brains! <laughs> but soon Jack grew hungry. It was time for a treat. Off for some feasting on human flesh meat. The zombies Jack knew ate brains and body parts. They smelled really bad and released stinky farts. Jack looked at a brain and said, this is not great. I don't even eat vegetables left on my plate. He looked for something else, a finger or toe. There must be something tasty. The zombies might know. Jack found a zombie eating mean old Joe. Mr. Zombie, Jas Jack asked, can I try a toe? Err, brains, the monster replied. Thoughts of his neighbor made Jack sick inside. 
All of a sudden, bread and jelly wasn't so bad. Jack started to miss his mommy and dad. Being a zombie was all Jack wanted to be, terrorizing the neighborhood, eating for free. But becoming a zombie wouldn't be smart. All they did was eat brains and lose body parts. Snap! Jack finally decided he wanted to go home. There was only one problem. Hundreds of zombies did roam. A getaway plan was what he did need before the zombies really started to feed. But how could he escape? His fear began to grow. Then all of a sudden he yelled, Wait! I know! Zombies can't run. They creep really slow. I'm a fast runner. Away I will go. Jack ran like the wind on an autumn day. He took every turn and zigzagged the fast way. He approached his house. The window was wide. Jack pounced and he leaped as he flew inside. He lay in his bed, a pillow covered his head. Go away, you filthy undead! The zombies were mad. They lost their new friend. But they will keep searching until the night's end. The next morning, Jack awoke, not a zombie at all. Jack, come to breakfast, his mother did call. Mmm, waffles and syrup, bacon and eggs. No more zombies for me. Jack the boy, I shall stay. The end? All right, and that is the end of the story, but why this story is super special and important to me is the artist and the author are my really, really good friends. And tonight, for our read aloud, I actually have the author here with us. And she's gonna share a little bit about the stories and the series that they have. Hi, I'm Amy Hernandez. I'm the author of Jack and the Zombie Attack and also Jack and the Pirate Attack. And I wrote this story because I was a mother with a little boy who was really interested into zombies and I wanted to write something safe and fun and entertaining with a moral lesson for everyone. And um, and here it is, Jack and the Zombie Attack. We hope you enjoy it. And I just wanted to take a moment and invite you out to the Civic Plaza, Plaza Park tomorrow yes. morning. Um, starts at 9 to 6. It's the first, not the first, but the High Desert, fourth annual High Desert Book Festival. Um, come and join us. We'll be there um, probably doing read-alouds and signing books, so come on out. Um, there will be many authors and publishers there. Just come and enjoy a day of books and reading and fun. Sounds good. So hopefully we'll see you guys there tomorrow morning and glad to have some local artists that uh, are in our high desert as well as uh, authors here and you can check out uh, their stuff there tomorrow morning. So thank you guys for our Friday night read aloud. Have a good night. <laughs>